not right. How about this? Hey! Hello! Happy Monday! Welcome to a new week and I hope it is one that is happy and creative for you. Today I'm going to scrapbook some photos that I posted on Instagram last night because why not be super current? I don't know. Um, best of both worlds seems to bring that out in me. <laughs> scrapbook more current photos than I used to. So I've got this one, which I printed a little bigger because he's cute and growing. <laughs> and then these two, and um, where we're actually down here and use the wide angle lens to get the whole, well, almost the whole building in, at least the height of the building, but obviously losing some, uh, losing some width off the side there. Let's just get it so I can see your comments now. Are we all good? We are. Yay! Good morning, good morning. Oh my goodness, Amy, it's 91 where you are. Uh, 95 for Jenna in Texas. Yeah. Hot here too, although it doesn't get quite that hot, but we're never prepared for hot weather. We don't have air conditioning in almost anywhere in this country. <laughs> and I think you should know that my desk is being video bombed today by a tiny paper piglet. Right, anyway, I'm not actually using these two today. I took them out to take a photo. Now, how are we all today? How was everybody's weekend? So the tricky part of working with these photos, with photos of art, is that you've got art in your photos and you're going to scrapbook it with art that's on pattern paper and stickers and all of that stuff. So it's really easy for it to be conflicting, it's really easy to lose focus on where things should go. Ah. So we're gonna try and figure it out. Also, today I am participating in something yellow themed. So I'm hoping that that means um, I can use what I make today the yellow layout for what I'm posting with a yellow theme. Okay, so let's cover all of that. <sighs> Hi, my name's Shamel. I teach online scrapbooking classes. I design scrapbooking products and I help you use them to tell your stories in a creative way. It's not just my hobby, it is my job and that means anytime I scrapbook on the internet, it's legally considered advertising and I have to make sure that you're aware of that. So thank you for coming to watch my Hashtag advertising jazz hands. I was wondering the other day, why have I never added jazz hands to that? I think that needs to be part of the speech. Do we agree? Okay, spirit fingers. Jazz hands, spirit fingers. Also, I took my nail varnish off because A, it was chipped, and B, I had done some inky work this morning and it was absolutely all discolored. And I did that silly thing where um, you take your nail varnish off and then you realize you don't have time to put it back on before the live. So, let's see how inky they'll get. I don't know. Anyway, they're not too bad. But they're not colorful. Oh, okay. Stacy wants to know, businesses don't have air conditioning? Well, um, some yes, some no. So, like, schools don't tend to have advertising. Cinemas do. Um, shops and office buildings, it's really a case-by-case -case basis. Our buildings are old. <laughs> All right, so yellow. So the thing that I'm participating in where I need a yellow project. Hmm, I'm joining in a, an Instagram hop that ended up, so it's a pride hop and, and all sorts of people were invited or welcome to participate, it was an open call. Um, and so I, yeah, that was something I wanted to be a part of if I could help in any way. Now, they, um, they got a little bit bigger 
response than they expected. And how awesome is that? So originally the idea was like that there would be a one day hop and everybody maybe makes something with a rainbow. But there were so many people that they decided let's divide it up by day and the as each day goes on we move to another color of the rainbow and they gave us each a day. So I am today which is the third day. It started on Saturday. So there's been a red day and an orange day and today is yellow. So I need to make a yellow project. Um, for today's stop in this hop. I'm very excited about that. Um, and then on my Instagram, I'll be linking to all the other people posting today. And I'm also going to do a little roundup of all the different pieces for each color, for each different day. It's been really fun. Um, yeah, cute. In a very cool way. There we go. All right, so I've got questions. Okay. We've, set, we've got people reporting that the notifications with the new version, um, with the new version of notifications work better than just getting the, ringing the bell. Okay, so that's what I'll start doing. I will set up all the, not the, sorry, I will set up all the lives early and I found if I just set them up early, because I've actually done that quite a lot, but I'm, um, there wasn't a way for you to see that they were set up early. So today I did some figuring out how to make it so you could see it. And the answer was to put things in playlists. So now when you go to like my main YouTube page, the first row of stuff is the current month's kit playlist. But whoa, -ho, I've been able to, um, to do even more. Right, so last week we had a discussion about thumbnails because obviously before we go live, I can't do a photo of the finished layout because I'm making it in front of you. Um, but I could edit it later and I wasn't sure if people would think that's too much of a spoiler or it would be helpful. I was thinking it would be helpful, but I wanted to ask because I also appreciate that part of the fun of watching a live is not knowing what's gonna happen. And ever since that layout where I totally abandoned the background, that has made me wonder, okay, actually, where, what is the real, the real fun here? Uh, well, what is the fun here? <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, so, uh, the answer was mostly that, yes, you would prefer to have thumbnails. And um, so what I've done is, I've done thumbnails for the May May pages and they're all in a playlist. So if anybody wants to hop over to my channel and look at that and see, I would really appreciate knowing if the, um, what I've done with the thumbnails is good. And I was thinking if I just use the same template for all of the, the live videos, but I will change the, it's a two tone color scheme. I will change the two colors when we go into an, a new month so that then when you see it, you'll kind of know which ones go together and the same color scheme would be all one month's kit, one set of supplies. So I'm hoping, because they're like zoomed in angled shots, so they're not, here is the finished layout. So that way you get a preview and you can tell which one it is if you watched part of one and you want to come back and finish it. You'll be able to see that or if you saw the finished layout on Instagram or Facebook and you're like oh or Pinterest and you're like oh I want to see that one you'd be able to tell which one it was without having like the whole thing there yeah okay and um, yes we've got uh daily 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 if your video is blurry check what quality you are watching in especially if you're on a phone if you're on data it will shift you down to a lower impact version to save your bill. But it looks like everybody else has got a clear image, so that means it's somewhere on your end. I'm sorry, but that's the advice I can give. <laughs> ah, okay, so let's find all the yellow things in the kit. Amy says for her life, she shows some supplies and the photos for that video. And I've done that, but I, but that was, the general consensus was no, <laughs> that 
a look at the finished video would be more helpful. Thank you, Georgia, for giving us the technical num numbers and info in the comments. Hopefully that helps you to daily. And if not, let me know. Ah, Elaine says yes to the thumbnails for May. That's excellent. All right. What else have we got in this kit that's yellow? So I've got a journaling box and a little quote. Oh, I've got some stripes on there. Ah, I've got lots of yellow here. Maybe I use a whole bunch of this. Because I kind of want to use both sides. There's yellow in this print. So let's do that. Let's make it this paper today. So this is Pink Fresh, Keeping It Real Collection, and the print's called Daily Grind. And we've got multicolor here, but yellow here. Yeah. Okay. But I kind of want to build all this and then stick it on a background. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to do this in two thirds, one third. So I'm going to chop off four inches, piece it back together. So that's going to be my background, which means I need to turn it all the way over here to piece it. Tape. Can I do it without it sliding everywhere? Maybe not. Maybe I just put tape on half. Everything's feeling slippery today. It's the heat. Right. Do it this way. Then. Line it up. Apparently this is something I can't do conversation at the same time. Okay, but I'm done now. There we go. I'm going to take this horizontally because it feels a bit wobbly. Okay. Yeah, that feels better. Still a little wobbly, but once it's in a page protector, it'll be fine. Okay, so I know I'm going to use this as my background, but I'm going to start layering yellow on top again. Yes, so kind of a, I'm going to start with a composition that's kind of a horizontal line all the way across the bottom, but then I'm going to end up tucking things behind. So who knows how horizontal it will feel by the time I'm done. Okay, um, ink. This one. <laughs> this picture cracks me up because everybody has said how much it looks like he has grown in this particular photo. That he looks like a string bean. Well, it's partly true because he is growing a lot and he is just stretching out taller. Um, um, so. There is that, but also part of it's because I took these, we took these with a wide angle lens. <laughs> so that makes us look taller. So the funny part is if you zoom in on the bit where you can see both of us, I don't know if you'll be able to see that at all. But yeah, I am not that tall and long legged either. <laughs> so a trick for how to stretch yourself out. <laughs> It's the lens. And yeah, Elaine says it's also that he wears skinny trousers. Yeah. And he because he's a bit of a string bean, he a short string bean, and he doesn't like baggy trousers. Oh my goodness. 
because they get in the way and they're like, you know, get in, they hit each other when you're doing kid things like running on a playground. Um, and so he doesn't like them. He does not like baggy trousers. <laughs> okay. How am I going to fit it all on? Actually, I'm gonna, I was going to angle this and then I decided no, it's going to be too much angle. So I'm going to square this off. Uh, Stacy says, is school still in summer? Is school still in session or is it summer vacation? It's still school time here. We go to school all the way until the next to last week of July. You just the last week is holiday. And because our holidays are spread out throughout the year. So our actual number of days in school is not that different from the states, but we get a break every six to eight weeks of a week or two. And then and we get six weeks in the summer holiday instead of 12. Yeah. So the Phineas and Ferb song doesn't work here because that starts with, there's 104 days of summer vacation. Yeah, no, there's no way 104 days. <laughs> there's more like 42. <laughs> but it's okay. It's still time to have adventures. Now, before I was convinced I could make this all fit horizontally, so how was I doing it? That needs to come over here. That's got to go on the top of that photo. I actually am not worried, like this door is not cute. It's a fire exit and it has to have loads of warning signs on it. Um, so I think actually I will just focus on the top part. I do like that they kept the mural going over this, but legally they can't put it over the door. Georgia says, how do parents work when kids have 12 weeks off? And you are exactly right, Georgia. It is um, summer camps. Yeah. Oh, Amy says in, where she teaches, there's not 104 days either in her class figured it out. Oh no. Hello, Harmony. Um, Oh, Lindsay says having his hair tied back is making him look older. And yesterday and today are so hot that it's all tied back like a ponytail. Um, and so not having having anything down and like having his ears on show makes him look different. Because <laughs> you never see his ears because his hair is always over them. Okay. Stick. Start sticking. So this one's going to go over here as close as I can get to that edge there. But I am going to angle the photos a little bit. And this one and this one. So I'm gonna stick these before I stick them down. So this one needs to go over the top because it looks odd that way. So this one's gonna come up here. Oh, I don't have any glue in the spot where I was overlapping. Yeah, Debbie, you're right. Our system is closer to what the American districts call um, uh, year-round school. Yeah. I mean, we still get a summer vacation, summer holiday. Um, yeah. Oh, well, I thought I was going to angle it, but now seeing it against the background, which has a straight element, I'm kind of feeling putting it in lines. right over to that edge. I've noticed lately, I really, um, I really love this sort of thing, um, where the edges, where there's just a tiny bit of the background edge, and it's really small, it's like a quarter of an inch, but, um, but you have to <laughs> then be really careful when you photograph it because I lose that bit usually. Um, oh gosh. Um, yeah, sorry. I'm, did I say something that came out wrong? Heather says that summer camp is totally on the parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Summer camp is something that's not provided. You totally pay for it. Um, but that's why there is such a market for it because nobody gets 12 weeks holiday from work. I went to a lot of summer camps. <laughs> oh, sorry. I missed the comment. I'm missing one somewhere. Um, Heather says somebody asked. Sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah. You pay for it. Or you earn a scholarship. But yeah. Oh, Georgia did. Sorry, Georgia. I missed one in there somewhere. 
Oh, I, and now I can see it. How weird. <sighs> okay. Oh, I was going to put that flat, but it might need to be popped up. Be popped up? Pop it up, pop it up. Papios. Let's have some chunky papios today. Eight to nine weeks summer holiday in Sweden. Excellent to know. Oh, <laughs> Amy has changed the photos that she's working with four times. Just having indecisive Monday. <laughs> it's a thing, don't worry. Claire also hates photographing layouts that have a thin paper border on the edge, but I love how they look. But it's so, so annoying to photograph. <laughs> Alright, where's the top of that door? That's where I want this to go. Okay, popped up. Right. Hello, Corey. Welcome back. Now. Things that are going to get tucked underneath. And what do we got that's yellow? We have got a Volkswagen bus that I might as well use because I'm not going to have any specific time to use it. We could have some yellow butterflies. We've got a bit of that. Got. I haven't done much with the stencil yet and the ink, so I will be getting to that, but I think it's not today. Da, 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 da. We got yellow banners. Yes, we do. We've got some yellow stickers here. We've got any relevant words in yellow. Let's see what we can do. I've got yellow letters in here. It's not. Oh, the yellow thing. Yep, I can see there's a letter on my stencil. All right. And da, 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 da. Diane's in Massachusetts, and she says the kids have to do 180 days in a normal year. Um, and you have an extension if you get snow days. Yeah, that's basically the same number here. It's just broken up differently. Um, so 180 school days. And if you, there's like a little grace period if you have one or two snow days. But if you have much more than that, you have to make it up later. Or the, usually the way they make it up here, um, and all the schools that I've had contact with, is that you, um, you move the teacher training days. So, like, for example, our year breaks up one day earlier than it looks like because the last day of the year is a teacher training day um, to prep for the next year, basically. And so if we had too many snow days, they would, the kids would go to school that day instead and they'd move the teacher training day so that it's not a huge effect on the kids, but obviously it's going to be a little bit. Right. Corey says homeschool, she has to do 180 days, but she can set her own breaks. Yeah, that is definitely a, a perk of doing all the work yourself. Yeah. Okay, what have we got? We've got fantastic in yellow. Now, these letters work best when they have something to ground them. And I'm going to put this. So I was thinking that the title goes below. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put the title up here. And 
trying to work out where. Cause see, see this gap? I don't want that gap. Move it, move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Done. Okay. Now. Yellow on yellow. So you. Okay. I'm going to try something that I don't think will work. That's useful, right? So I'm going to try it because what I found with this particular set of letters and the thickers from this collection, they're both, um, the, the alpha thickers are not in this kit, but they are in the same collection. And they both are capital print italics. So they have this angle to them that we are not used to working with and it makes it a challenge to place them. And so what I have found is that it works best if you are working on a plain grounded line, be it horizontal or vertical, but that you have a straight line to follow. So what I'm going to try here is making them follow this curve and I'm not sure it will work, but I thought, why not give it a try? Two more letters. So the last one's gonna be hard because I lose this curve here. Well, I can tuck it in there. Actually, it's not too bad. Yep. What do we think? I think it's all right. Yes. Okay. I think the F and the A could be better but I think it works. I'm gonna leave it. Okay. So yellow, I'm, I'm, so far the yellow is working. The yellow is working. <laughs> right, where's that bus? I want the yellow bus in here. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. By the way, I'm just gonna get rid of this. <laughs> it's gone. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh, I just realized that the license plate, the number plate on the on the van says good vibes. And now I have that song in my head. Good vibes, that's what I like. But here's the really funny part. That when Wonderboy first heard this song, he thought the words were, no negativity in my lunch. So that's how we sing it in our house. I just thought you should know. No negativity in my lunch. That looks cute here. I know I'm eating into my journaling space. But I think it's all right. But it means if I'm putting it on top of that, this has to have poppios as well. So let's pop up a bus. Pop it up, pop it up with poppios. And the little ones go right here. I just realized the iPad's really in the screen today. I moved it over so you're not just seeing the side of my trimmer, but now instead you're seeing the iPad, but it's just the keyboard. I don't know. If it bothers you, let me know. I'll see what I can do about it. <laughs> All right. says it doesn't bother her. Good, good. All right. Okay, we got this yellow. Can use that. Summer, summer, summer time. All the stickers giving me all, all the songs. I mean, technically, it's still spring. <laughs> but it felt like summer, that's for sure. It was 30 degrees yesterday in Celsius. <laughs> now, 
I've got a lemon with a make lemonade tab, but I don't have any reason to use that here. And I've got a fun and sun in yellow. Oh, and I have a lemonade. So apparently I have to make lemonade. Dun, dun, dun. Either literally or figuratively, I need to do lemonade before the, the month is out. Georgia says 30 degrees here is 86, which doesn't sound too hot to an American. But 30 in England is hot. <laughs> just is. <laughs> it really just is. There. Let's see it in here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Georgia is Georgia is saying what the adhesive avenger is saying downstairs. 86 here is so hot because we don't have air con, so there's no break. Yeah. Sarah says she has always thought of March, April, May equals spring, and June, July, August equals summer, and September, October, and November equals autumn. But September has been eaten into summer and November into Christmas, which is why autumn feels so short. Oh, funny. Um, oh my goodness, it's 40 in Spain where Allison is. Um, but yeah, when I when we were spending a lot of time at the Montessori school, there's they had a name for for using the months as your season guide instead of the like the solstice and equinox dates. Um, I want to say it was just something about calendar, like we use the seasonal calendar or something like that, so that you did it by month. Um, yeah. So that, that definitely is a thing. But see, sometimes I find it hard to consider it summer when school's still open, having grown up with summer as your three months off. <laughs> More yellow down here. Yeah. Just put all the yellow things on and work it out. So I put all the details about this mural on my Instagram in case anybody swings by my part of the world and wants to see it. Or you want to look up the artist. So the artist is called Super Mundane, um, which their life is clearly not. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's at the London Graphic Center, which is where I buy all my pens and some other things sometimes. And when people message me to say, I'm coming to London, do you have any scrapbooking stories? And I have to say, no. I tend to back it up with, but here are the places that I think you might find interesting, and the London Graphic Center is on there. And it's just off Covent Garden, it's like not even one minute walk from the station in Covent Garden. So um, it's right in tourist country, it's easy to get to. So, you know, if you see this in the future, and tourism is a thing again, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, da -da -da -da. Oh, it didn't shut all the way down. We're live again. Okay, hold up. That was weird. Hold on. I'm taking you back up to the tripod. <laughs> wow. That was unexpected how it turned itself back on because it said, it gave me a little thermometer warning and it said, your phone um, has it, it is too hot so it has shut down for safety reasons or something like that. Now, I've just taken my microphone out, so the sound may not be so great, but I know the microphone makes it makes the phone hotter. So I've canceled the microphone. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not in its case. What else can I do? So we'll see what happens. All right. Where were we? <laughs> Maybe this is a, a note that I should drink because I'm probably just as dangerously hot as the phone. Oh. oh my goodness, the Adhesive Avengers brought me an ice pack to keep the phone cool. <laughs> Here we go. 
and cool my phone down by holding this under the tripod. No, it's meant to go on top of the phone. Meant to go on top. Okay. But it touches the phone. It doesn't even have it. It's just touching the tripod now. I know. I don't. But it'll push buttons if I put it on top of the phone. We're trying to figure out how to balance an ice pack on my phone. I think that might have helped. <laughs> They're giving you applause. <laughs> hey, Elaine used the downtime to, um, uh, to research that it is, it's called meteorological calendar. So the meteorological summer is June, July, and August. And the astronomical summer is the one with equinox and solstice dates. So 21st of June. Cool. All right. I love that, you know, that ice pack is one that you're supposed to put around a wine bottle. <laughs> it sounds legit. Let's, let's put it on, on my phone. Ice packs for phones. Butterflies. Have I got three yellow ones? One. I could do some partials, but yeah, I do have three, but I'm going to have to chop up everything then. So I think better to do some partials. I could have one, two, three here. Quite close. I'm surprised that, you know, there's not somebody out there selling ice packs for phones as a, an accessory because, oh, he just said they do. They exist. You can get an ice pack for your phone. I was going to say, it sounds like something that somebody would monetize. Yeah, the sun's not on it, but I am in a, like, it's not in direct sunlight, but I am in a sunny room. And it is hot. Sea monkeys have also been um, having sunshine issues. <laughs> right. Okay, Georgia, I need, I need an uh, explanation. If it's blurry for anybody now, go check your video quality to make sure you're back at 720p. Georgia's going to sort you out in the comments. <laughs> She's our expert on changing your video quality. Because when it pauses and stuff, it, it will it'll revert to saving your data. Yeah. Amy says, oh, you're not tearing, but you are detail cutting. <laughs> oh, no. It'll be okay, Amy. It's just cutting the paper. We have all the windows open, of course, so now I can hear things that I don't normally hear. And there's a noise at one side of our house that basically sounds like a bee swarm, but it's not. But it keeps making me jump, because I really don't want a bee swarm in my house as much as I love bees. I'm all for them. <laughs> but please not in my house. Okay. Oh, butterflies. Why must you have antenna? that are hard to cut. Okay, that's one butterfly. If I can do it live, Amy, you can do it with no one watching. It's fine. Detail cut like no one's watching. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so George has told me twice that I need a 360 gyro cutter, but I don't know what that is. So go on, enlighten us. Or me, if everyone else already knows. <laughs> Amy says, why can't butterflies be shaped like rectangles? I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh my goodness, there is something buzzing in there. How angry is it and should I shut the door to keep it from coming at me? Okay, so Georgia says a 360 gyro cutter looks like a pen, but it has a blade on it. Oh, and you literally draw around something and it cuts out. Okay, um, I have tried a Japanese product like this years ago. Um, I was not successful. <laughs> I think that says it all. <laughs> Debbie says you need to be able to draw in order to be able to cut then. <laughs> that is true. Pen control's gotta be pretty good. I'm going to look at what's buzzing to make sure I don't need to close that door because I love a bug, but I'm allergic to most of them. Okay, two seconds. So I've got three butterflies. I'm going to edge those all in just one moment. Bumblebee on the blind in our room. <laughs> hey! I've closed the door so it doesn't come after me. I want it to just find the way out. The window's open. And I, I don't want to hurt a giant bumblebee, but it's one of those huge ones that's like this size. It's like this big. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> right. Summer in England. What is it like? You have to become one with nature. Where can these go? So this is the only one that's a full butterfly. So maybe that one goes out here. This one needs to tuck under this side of something. Here, here, here. I don't know. This one needs to tuck under this way, which it can do up here or here. I like it there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Tom says, do you have screens in your windows? No, that's not a thing here either. <laughs> at least it's too much peril. Mild peril. Uh... <laughs> George says, we don't learn here. We just, we don't have screens. We just get sweaty and bitten by bugs. <laughs> She's, she's true. It's, it's true. She's accurate. Okay, where can I put this? That looks silly. There's not enough of it. so not a thing here. I grew up with one on every door. Not here. Every window. No way. Okay. So I think this one doesn't work because it's the wrong side. <laughs> needed to be like upside down butterfly to fly this way. <laughs> 
Okay, so for the moment I've only got two butterflies. And they're both angled the same direction. Should this one angle the other way? Yeah, it should. Okay. I could do that one. I should just cut this one out from the other side. Stacy says, how do you keep out birds and squirrels and things? We don't. So, uh, when I was teaching, uh, one of the schools that I taught in regularly had pigeons come into the classroom to the point where when we would shut everything for the day, it was a school where the kids stayed in one desk all the time, so they had all their stuff in a desk rather than having lockers or carrying it around. And I used to have to remind them if I had them last class of the day and to make sure there was nothing on top of their desk, that everything was put away in case a bird got in overnight and messed everything up. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yes, pigeons would come in in the class. And yes, it was totally chaotic. And everyone would scream. Uh, it was a girl's school, so the screams were very high. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, da -da -da -da. So there was that. And then we did, we lived in a house for a little while here. It was just around the corner from where we live now. Um, but it had a cat flap um, that was there when we, when we rented the house. And the house had been empty for a little while, but in between tenants, and the cat flap had not been locked. So normally you might think, especially here, you might think that a, a hashtag not my cat might have come into your house because that's definitely a thing here if you have a cat flap other people's cats come in through your cat flap uh, but it wasn't not my cat it was not my fox family and the cat flap was on the laundry room door and the, the foxes had been living in the laundry room and when we came in and blocked the cat flap up to keep the foxes out they would come to the back like it was like a glass door at the back not right next to it in the living room and the mama fox would just come and put both her paws on the glass to try and push through like well maybe that wasn't the only way in maybe i can get in over here no honey you're not coming in <laughs> nope okay so do i want this oh there yeah Well done, Amy. She cut those butterflies out. You cut the butterflies out. You cut the butterflies out. Okay, if you recognize that, you get bonus points. Um, all right. Okay. Yeah, I don't want a pet fox. They have lots of fleas. And they kill stuff for fun. They're really cute until they kill stuff for fun. <laughs> okay, and they're, they're really messy. George has a crazy magpie who brings four crazy magpie children and they rummage through everything and threw a chunk of mud into the house. <laughs> Amazing. What are we thinking about all the yellow on one page? I think it is good. Yes? Yes. I'm kind of tempted to put this kite in because I don't think I'll have a literal reason to use a kite. And I like how the colors pick up from the mural. It could be cute here. <gasps> Diane had a raccoon open her sliding screen door. <laughs> Claire is appreciating that we have gone from mild peril to musical. I'm going to go through all the genres today. Okay, what if we put a papio just behind the kite, but we do the string flat? Oh, it's a sticker. I don't need to put an easy on it. Uh, how's my phone temperature? Hey, it's cooled right down now. I actually had an exciting 
news that I made an appointment to get a new battery for my phone, um, which should help with the, the crashing that has happened a few times, but I don't think it will help anything with the, um, the temperature crash. That's just the weather. Oh, should I tuck this behind? Here, maybe. No. There. Oh, I think. Needs a little one behind the rivets. <laughs> Diane will ship us some raccoons. No, thank you. Okay. My mom does kitten rescue and she gets raccoons bringing their babies to the kitten rescue food. <laughs> totally. All right, now, what else are we gonna put on it? Caroline's gonna go there. Dun, 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 dun. This, came to, this part came together really, even despite, you know, considering how much peril there was, this part has come together really quickly. Marty's got cicadas. I do not miss cicadas one bit. Not at all. We don't have them here. I'm totally cool with that. I'm wondering if any of these work here. They kind of, there's a couple that do. So this is really a, like a Disney Parks inspired set, but there's a few phrases that would work. I wouldn't, like if you never do Disney, I would say this is too Disney to justify the purchase just for the ones that are more versatile, because a lot of them I think are very park based. But let's see, maybe not. So a balloon is useful for anybody. This one says picture perfect, time for treats. So those are both okay. Hands in the air could be, maybe there's more here than I was thinking. Love this place the best. So this one says theme park vibes. So that's definitely a theme park thing. Best ride ever, definitely a theme park thing. I suppose you could put it with your favorite car or motorbike, but. Claire says she thinks a flying cow might go past when there's a freak tornado here. Oh no. Um, ride till we can't anymore, vacay mode. But happiest place, love this place, the best. This one is a circle that says my happiest place. Hashtag snack goals. <laughs> Meet me at my happy place. And then obviously we've got a castle. That is a heart, not a Mickey head. That was a question that came up somewhere. Bring on the magic. I don't know. It is, if you're not a Disney Parks person, do you think too much Disney to, because I would, my gut was saying only get it if you are, if you have Parks photos to, to use. But I am going to try and use it on other stuff too. So that's going to go there. In what color? This is a question. Okay, should I just do it in black? Should we stamp it in black and hope for the best? I'll, I'll do a little test on another piece of paper. Ginny says she tried out the notification feature for the live today. She got the pop-up like normal when I went live and also got an email. Excellent. Oh, I think. Anyway. Okay. These kind of stamps always scare me a little bit where it's a block and the letters are in the negative. Let's see. Yeah, should I just put it in black? Stamp's nice and clear. Okay, 
It is, however, slightly skewed. Let's see if I can straighten it out. That looks a little better. Okay. Bring the page back. Why does this not scare me? Because if I mess it up, I'll just put another layer of paper there. It'll be fine. And you guys will keep my secret. But now, if I've done some stamping there in black, it needs other stamps in black. So let's see what we can do. We can do... This little circle. Oh, actually, let's put that on a little block. It'll be easier to get it in this spot. I'm going to have to replace the pop dot here because I want to layer this underneath. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, the black brings out, I agree, black works because the mural has black lines. For the oh, it's not quite in the spot where I wanted. Um, the scheduled video it says how many people are in the waiting room basically. So now it's like being at the doctor's office, and then it can be Shamel. We'll see you now. <laughs> oh my! All right, so I've got a little bit of stamping here and here. Let's bring up to that spot there. Yeah, if you didn't buy this stamp set because you don't do Disney, which was my advice, so please don't feel bad, um, you could add any stamp set that's appropriate. Just I, I do like stamps that have phrases for putting in here. <laughs> Claire says I have to call myself Dr. Chevelle. I'm not sure if that's, if that's a good thing. Oh, so should I do hands in the air because he's got his hand up, or should I do the other round one that says love this place? Round or hands in the air? Amy says, I do hands, and she'll do the round one. George says, what's the question again? It's too hot. George's mind's on, on the fritz. So I've got a rectangle here that says picture perfect. I've got a circle piece down here that says the best. I want to come up here, and I could add a circle that says love this place, or I could add this one that's text that says hands in the air because he's got his hand in the air. Hands in the air, like you just don't care, seems to have it. So I'm going to do hands. Amy's going to do rounds. You're gonna come out for a second. Okay. Just like that. Yeah. Then there's some little tiny ones. So I'm going to do some confetti work with the stamps. So I've got an asterisk kind of star and I've got a normal five-pointed star. 
What have I got on this one? Five point. So let's use that one. <laughs> Claire is happy to help you if you buy the stamps and you don't have Disney photos to scrapbook. She would say, go ahead and then book the holiday so that you can use your stamps. Seems perfectly legit. So I got three little stars there. I can do three up here by the kite. Anywhere else? Should I put some in with the journaling? Kind of feel like I need three on here. I think they're quite close together there. Oh, I pushed that one a little too far. That's okay. I'll journal in black too so that that will all kind of come together a bit. Right. That ink pad is an interesting one. So it's Avery L's Black Dyeing. And it has a really spongy um, ink pad. So like if you push down into it, it's gonna like, the ink goes everywhere, but it stamps really well, like it's really even, and some stamps that have a lot of detail, I get a really good impression with that one, but inking it is, I don't know, I always feel like there's a little peril involved in inking it. <laughs> um, is it like the Catherine Pooler? I don't have the Catherine Pooler to hand, so I don't know, I can't do a side-by-side -side comparison, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's spongy. All right. Got this. Okay, it's gone. I thought I was gonna have to like blow the dust off, but it came off okay. Now, enamel dots in this kit are pink. Do I add enamel dots? Do I put pink enamel dots on? Do I just grab some yellow ones from the drawer to keep with the yellow theme? Or do I leave it without enamel dots because I put the stars on? Those are your options. What do you reckon? I can hold this up a bit case you're needing to see more detail. I held it up too much. Hold on, hold on. What do you think? Oh, Amy says she's going to add Nuvo drops. And I do have the yellow um, color pop, but I don't think it's the same yellow. Um, Melinda says gold splatter. Oh, don't worry. The gold splatter's coming, but that's going to go late, later. Lisa says, I don't think it needs them, but if you want them, grab yellow. Lisa, have we met? <laughs> it doesn't have to need it for me to want them to be there. Oh, Claire raises a very valid point. Does the pink actually match? Well, actually, yes. It certainly does. I was quite proud of my color matching in this kit. <laughs> it's lovely. Look, even gets a good match there. But remember, I am doing this for a yellow post. It needs to be definitely yellow. So do we think even if I put pink dots on it, it still feels very yellow? Like, if you were to look at a whole bunch of yellow posts, will it still look yellow? Because the whole page on the hashtag has got to go yellow. Good. Debbie said she saw a post somewhere that Heidi Swap said Gold Mist is coming back. Unsubstantiated, but interesting news. That was, somebody posted that in the comments on my Facebook page. Yes. 
So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay. Oh, this is hilarious. You're like evenly split saying grab the yellow dots and use the pink dots. Well, here we go. Were the yellow dots from a previous kit or are the yellow dots just from my rainbow of yellow, uh, rainbow of enamel dots? Why don't I mix them? So let's have yellow. Oh no, the yellow should go in between those stars. There. Yellow. Light pink. Light pink. Is that enough? I've got little yellow stars here. I'm going to add them to some other spots. Each butterfly can have a yellow star. There we go. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Gold. Oh, Allison missed why today's page needs to be predominantly yellow. Because I'm participating in a Pride Instagram hop and my color assignment is yellow. And it's gonna go live later today. They've done red day and they've done orange day and today is yellow day. Bring on the gold. You lovely people are gonna come help me with the hop because it's mostly card makers. Yeah? <laughs> so, you gotta come represent Scrapple King by giving it a heart. Yeah? Because <laughs> it's mostly card makers, but it's okay. We're all paper crafters, so we're good. All right. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. The journaling's gonna go in here, of course. And journaling wise, I'm gonna. All of these different little bits that I added on, and um, I was kind of thinking about how they will inform the journaling. And so, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna write like th this wasn't a particular actual quote unquote celebration, but certainly a celebration of life and summer and being out. And he went to a party the day before, and I don't have any photos of that, so I'm gonna make a little note of. Of that that you know birthday parties are back that sort of thing there we go right so wrapping this up I've used three photos but this one doesn't show very much if you wanted all of this to show then you could leave out that card and just have the little bundle of um, uh, embellishments down here I if you missed this bit I covered up the bottom of the photo because it has the fire door which has all sorts of warnings and it's just not as cute as the rest but I wanted a nice clear um, shot of the text on the mural right um what else line this up on the curve like how that went together very happy with that if you wanted to change oh i've got little bits of butterfly cutting out on here okay if you wanted to change the number or arrangement of the photos you could have one landscape four by six here one three by four portrait here these are three by four this is three and a half 
by four and a half, maybe five. If you wanted three landscapes and you wanted to turn the whole thing around, you could do that easily, just like this, but you would need a four by six journaling card with the lines the other way. And you need to take the title block and turn it because I don't think that's a title that you can read on the vertical. There we go. All right. So thank you for joining me today. Friday's Live is already scheduled and you can go click that button to get reminders so that if that, as long as that's in a time zone where you're going to be awake, if you should be asleep, maybe watch it on the replay. <laughs> Sherry, I'm, I'm thinking of you. Um, right. I think that's everything. We happy? Okay. Any questions, let me know. I think it's time to go and I have to take the ice pack off to... Uh, to press up. Oh, and have a look at the May thumbnails. And if you think there's anything there that needs to change, like it didn't help you, or you need more information or anything like that on the thumbnail, please give me a shout. Because um, I just did May's so that I had somewhere to start. And if everybody gives that a thumbs up, then I'll go ahead and keep um, that sort of format going on. Cool. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you again on Friday. If you watched on the replay, if you could leave a comment to say you were here, that'd be great. And if you enjoyed this, if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, I would love that. Awesome. Thank you for being here. See you soon. Bye-bye.